The Voice of Belito, Radio Life and Style, 88.0 FM. So it's a pleasure to uh, welcome one of the uh, doctors from the Skin Renewal Institute. And uh, welcoming back, in fact, to the programme is um, Dr. Abby Wagner. Not I Vag- don't Wagner? No, Wagner. Well, I've heard people say Wagner. A lot, yes. Does it annoy you? <laughs> no, not really. No? I'm quite used to it. No. <laughs> Thanks. It's great to be back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to see you again. You're looking great. And um, you're supposed to say the same thing to me. And so, you too. <laughs> you are looking fantastic. It, it, it was great in rehearsal. <laughs> so, so I think it was about a I think it was about a month ago now. It was, yes. Oh, you know. Yes. You know when I was there. About three or four weeks ago. Yeah, yes. I, wasn't, I wasn't nervous. I was slightly edgy. Mm. And um, had the old Botox in the middle. What do yes. you call that bit? where The 11s. The 11s, where somebody's hit you with an axe in between your eyes. Yeah, we call them the 11s. And the crow's... The crow's feet on the side of the eyes, well. yes. And then some, what do you call the filler underneath yes. the... Yes, the yeah. tear troughs, yes. And it, it was great to experience the whole thing. Um, your place, first of all, is is, is beautifully run. Oh, the decor you. is fantastic. Thank you. People are made to, to feel welcome as the, from the second you walk through oh, the door. Thank which you, is Dave. Really, we No, try. I mean that, honestly. The staff are absolutely amazing. You handed a questionnaire to fill in. Mm. Um, you know, I know I'm not pregnant, all that kind of stuff <laughs> that you, you have to fill in the form. And uh, you offered something to drink and blah, 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 blah. And then um, um, I went in to see the doctor, Dr. Michelle, and she spent... A long time, mm. you know, because I mean, look at me, it needed a long time. No, I'm sure. But, um, it was it was a great experience. Thank you. Slightly painful, I can't lie. Yes. Not during the procedure, but, but more a little, after. Afterwards, yes. a little bit tender yes, and a little, a little bit, bit and a little yes. bit swollen, mm. right? That's to be expected. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. But uh, generally, um, you're looking now, and I've looked, and I think. I think I wanted it to work the day after it was done, and it doesn't work that day. You've got no. to give it some time, right? Absolutely. With filler, I mean, there'll be swelling, a bit of inflammation, sometimes a little bit of bruising that can take up to a week to right. go down. Right. Um, but any type of, of uh, Botox or Dysport, we, we look at 10 days for it to take yeah. full effect. Yeah. I, so I, people I, often phone and say, I'm not seeing the difference in 24, 48 hours. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit of a, a waiting game. But I was told that it would uh, take anything between 10 days and two exactly. weeks. And uh, yes. I'm really, really happy. So. I'm glad to hear that, Dave. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're going to carry on with this <laughs> experiment <laughs> as I, I defy old age. All right. So today, it, well, I was going to say we're in the middle of summer. I don't know in Belito anymore. It's like kind of weird. Like you said just now, it's almost all your seasons in one day, isn't it? It is. But the sun is going to come out anytime soon, hopefully uh, next week, uh, just in time for Christmas. And um, we're going to talk about sunscreen today. We are. Okay. I think firstly, which ingredients should you look out for and what to avoid in a sunscreen? Because, I mean, there's so many Mm. on the shelves Mm. and you get pretty confused. There are. There's so much um, to choose from. Your physical uh, barriers, like your um, titanium dioxide, zinc dioxide, those form a physical barrier and those are your most protective against both UVA and UVB. So... Um, as a guideline, I would say to people, look for that. Then the chemical uh, barriers that you don't necessarily want, and we have a lot of ingredients in terms of chemical barriers, but the one chemical barrier you don't want is the um, oxybenzones, and that actually has been banned in certain countries. Oh, wow. Mm, so, yeah, those, that, that would be, in terms of three easy ones to look out for, your zinc and titanium dioxide or your your um, your pluses mm. minuses would be your um oxybenzones all right you're on the beach with the kids mm. Mm. right how much and how often should sunscreen be applied i mean does it vary from person to person it definitely varies from person to person but there's also a misconception that the lighter your skin the um the more need for an spf whereas it's not the case um all all skin types from a skin type one to a skin type six will um will burn with sufficient exposure so the guidelines are plus minus every two to three hours to reapply the um cancer foundation says up to every 30 minutes if you are you know if if you you've got direct exposure Mm. if you're sweating if you're in the water it depends on a number of factors but we say to people generally every two hours all right now there's a sun protection factor that's the sp spf yes um what does that really indicate i mean some are low and some are really really high yes it indicates um basically the amount of time that it takes for your skin to burn so if your skin burns in one minute of direct exposure to sunlight if you were using an spf 50 it would take 50 minutes 
to oh, to see. burn. Okay. So you basically just multiply the number by how long it takes you to burn. And most people don't know that. So, I mean, they don't know how long it takes them to burn. Um, but we look for a, a higher SPF. So typically between 30 and 50 is your ideal. There's a lot of SPFs on the market now that say, 100, say a, a factor 100. There's very little difference in terms of um, your actual uh, protection, should I say, between mm. a 50 and a 100. All right, now we're protecting ourselves against UVA and UVB rays. I mean, what are the differences between the two? UVA is your damaging um, ultraviolet light. That's what you find often in sunbeds, or most times in sunbeds. It's a very deep acting or deep penetrating, rather, form of, of um, a ray. Your UVB is what burns uh, topically, superficially. So UVA is dermis, UVB is epidermis. All right. Now, there's a chemical and physical sunscreen, right? Yes. Yes. To me, that makes no sense whatsoever, but yes. I mean, you're going to explain that for us. What's the difference between the two? So your physical sunscreen, if you think about like the, the cricketers, the children that you see walk, running around on the beach with the big white or pink straps and oh, the green right. nose, yes, yes, yes. That's, your, that's your physical um, sunscreen. So that basically just blocks out all, all the light, reflects it back. Your chemical um, uh, SPF would be, or, or ingredients rather, is um, an ingredient that gets absorbed into the skin and mm. it, that helps to refract the, the light. But people who have impaired skin barriers, so people who have eczema, very inflamed skin, psoriasis, um, very active acne, they typically don't tolerate a chemical barrier very well. Mm. So in those people, the physical barrier is your um, is your safer go-to. All right, now oral supplements, there are some on the market. Can they enhance your skin's protection against the sun or not? Or are you wasting your money? No, definitely. There's a product called, um, if I'm allowed to mention brands, sure, but um, yeah. HelioCare, which is a, it, it's um, an antioxidant and it's sold alongside their SPF and the reason for that is because often for example sports people can't reapply every two hours if you if you're running a marathon or you're yeah, riding course, a, yeah. a, a race um if you use the the topical SPF plus you're taking an oral supplement it just helps to lengthen the amount of time that you get before reapplication is required all right now I I like to lie in the sun every now and then but I get bored I'll be honest with you but uh, unfortunately I tan pretty quickly mm. I think it's the mm. whole Italian gene thing yeah. going on um <laughs> Is it safe to go into the sun and tan and get a tan? Bottom line, you know, we all as long as you're putting the the, the the sunscreen on that we're talking about. Yeah, absolutely. Everything within moderation, I think, and we need the, we need vitamin D as well from sunlight. Yeah. We, need, we need to be outdoors. We need fresh air. Um, it's all part of mental health as well. But the guidelines are to typically try and stay out of direct sunlight between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So if you're going to go outside and lie on the beach for a bit, try and do it before 10 a.m. or try and do it after 3 p.m. So you don't have the... the does that make a massive big difference? Massive really? difference. Honestly. Yes, it absolutely wow. does. Yeah. And then just obviously the other things to bear in mind would be like your wide-brimmed hats, um, umbrellas, practical measures to try and protect your skin. You know, I mean, I, I was going to say the funniest thing, it's not really funny, but when, 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 <laughs> when you get English people coming over here, you know, <laughs> lily white, and they just, no, I'll be fine. Oh, oh, oh. blimey. No, it's not going to trouble me. Oh. And you see them the next day. And, and they, they look like they're in a lot of pain. <laughs> a lot of pain. And that can have effects years down Absolutely. the line, apparently. Just explain yes. that very quickly yes. on a final note. So my, most sun damage is done in your before the age of 18, but only is only shown from age 35 to 49. How so, serious can it be all those years later? Very serious. Basal cell carcinoma. Oh, wow. Yes. It takes all that time for it Absolutely. to suddenly you're, raise its ugly head. It does, indeed. So like I say, between age 35 and 49 is when we see most sun, sun damage starting to rear its head. All right. So protection at all times. And let's let's get rid of another fallacy as well. It doesn't matter what color you are. Black, white, green, Indian Absolutely. colored, yellow. It doesn't matter. Whatever color you are, you can burn 100%, in the sun. 100%. Right? And you should be using SPF every day. Okay. Thank you, Dave. Do you? I do. Of course Indeed. you do. Absolutely. <laughs> Even if I'm in the office all day. <laughs> <laughs> you wear it in the office? I do. Isn't that taking it a little bit too No, far? no. SPF every day. All right. Okay. Great talking to you. you and too. Um, Thank I'm going to see you before. Have a very uh, Merry Christmas if you celebrate, of course. I do. Up to you Same and, uh, to you, Dave. Up to you Thank and your you. family. Thank you so much. Listen to the voice of Bolito. Radio, life and style. 88.0 FM.